Okay guys, so we had a lot of people uh, wanted to know about our solar system. Um, and this was our very first solar system. We, we purchased this about a year and a half ago, about 18 months ago. Um, from point, it was, a, uh, the name of the system is a point zero, point zero energy, uh, it's a Titan system. And we purchased the 2000 watt uh, s package. You have different packages. You can have 500 watt package, 1000 watt package, uh, 2000 watt package. We went with the 2000 watt package. Um, and this particular package for the deal, for the package deal, which was the literally the best price in the country at the time, um, it came with 20 100 watt solar panels. You know, I much rather would have had, you know, five 400 watt ones to install, but this was the package deal. It was a great price and it was quality and it was all just pretty much idiot proof where everything's, all the MC4 connections just click together very simply. It's red and black. It's very simple, very easy to understand. I had zero experience with solar um, and I installed this system 100% from scratch by myself, built the uh, ground support um, on the ground support. We're in Florida, so the ground support um, had to have the panels facing 30 degrees, a uh, 30 degree angle facing south for the maximum sun efficiency year round. So that's what I went with. And, uh, basically all we, all I did, if you'll notice, we just went with four by four, uh, post and two by four post four by pressure treated four by fours and pressure treated two by fours set everything at 30 degree angle most of the framework was all put together with uh, three inch deck mate uh you know lifetime screws and the installation in the back side was every bit of it was literally four by four post and two by four post all pressure treated and then we put a uh, i put a super um oil-based paint on top of everything multiple coats um, and most of the post and the framing is uh, you know out of the direct elements because of the protection from the solar system um and let's see looking at it in the back all the wires see if i can zoom in here all the wires are just very simple man it, 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 this is truly for a beginner man this is a black wire just black connects to black on the mc4 and let's see everything's nice it comes you know nice nicely looped very professional and clean um very simple install and it's, uh, you know, of course the framework was a little labor intensive, so, you know, get some good guys with lots of energy, and in this case, me, <laughs> and, uh, and some post hole diggers, man, and I concreted the post in with about 120 pounds of concrete on most of the post. Uh, I just wanted some extra strength and stability against any strong winds, but yeah, so then we, uh, I did a direct burial underground. Um, direct burial. I did not use conduit underground. Um, I did a direct burial so the wires come off the system and I tapped them directly into the ground and then in the ground I just ran them. Took this whole stretch all underground, put them about uh, eight inches deep and we just ran this path over here all the way up, all the way up, all the way up, all the way over here, underground. It was roughly, I want to say it was about 150 feet or so. And then we brought them in just to the right of this window right here, probably eight feet to the right. And I drilled directly up uh, a hole directly through the wood floor and ran the wires up there and connected them to our uh, solar, uh, you know, the processor on the inside. And that was it. And then we sealed everything, you know, with uh, silicone, you know, 100% silicone, colored silicone to match the floor and to close off any drafts and bugs or anything that could get in. But yeah, um, like I said, uh, we have not had any issues whatsoever with this system. Now, this system 18 months ago cost us right at... Let's see. It was uh, it was eight. It was uh, let's see. Eighteen months ago, the system was right at seventy five hundred, and then we threw in close to an extra fifteen hundred for the third lithium ion battery. We wanted three instead of two. Actually, we wanted about ten, but but they're expensive. So, and uh, the system 
as you'll hear about in a little while, the system is compatible with just about every type of battery, lead acid battery, any, any kind of 24 volt uh, combination uh, it's compatible with. So you have all kinds of, you know, battery options and budget options to deal with. But this system that as we purchased it was about 7,500 18 months ago. And then we threw in roughly 1,500. So we're about 9,000 on the system. And uh, of course, that was with me doing all the labor, all the install, and we probably, uh, I would say on materials, we probably spent between the post, the concrete, and the two by fours and the screws, maybe another $250, somewhere around there, 250, no more than $300. So, you know, we're out the door total for this off-grid solar system for about $9,300. Now, as far as an entry-level system goes that will be sufficient to run your refrigerator that will be sufficient to run your window unit acs right it's going to put a heck of a load it could do it but it wouldn't last for a long time unless you had a lot of batteries to run a central heat and air system but if you have window unit acs it can run them all day long man keep the house nice and chilly and we're in florida in northeast florida so it's hot as heck up here and it has no problem running our uh, window unit ACs all day long, 12, 15 hours a day, no problem, especially on good sunny days. It normally, um, I've seen it peak at actually 2,000 watts of, of sun coming in. So it actually can operate at 100% peak efficiency. Um, it's an incredible system. And like I said, we've had it for 18 months with absolutely zero issues with it. So it's reliable, it's dependable, and it does everything that this company says it does. Okay. Appreciate you guys, and hang on just a sec. I'm going to take you all on the inside and show you the inside system. Thanks a lot. Okay, guys, so here is the inside system. Um, this is our Point Zero Energy Titan. Um, and let's see, let me give you all a close-up on the display screen. Okay, right now, okay, you see the 222 amp hours. That's because we have a total of three, <clears throat> show you on the side here, three stackable batteries, lithium ion batteries. There's one, there's the second battery, and there's the third battery. Each battery uh, is 74 amp hours of lithium ion power. Um, super safe, super efficient, super clean, super quiet, long lasting batteries. Um, on the top of the unit, on the oh, I'm sorry, on the left side of the unit, you've got two two uh, cooling fans. When you come around the front, you have your AC DC uh, button um, switch up top. You have your off switch in the middle, and then you have if you just want to do a uh, straight DC toward the bottom. Okay, up here you have 12 volt. You have a 12 volt uh, car charger, basically. You have, let's see, right here, you have a second 12 volt car charger. Over here, you have a third car charger. And over here, you have a fourth one. We have a total of one, two, three, four, five, six. 120 volt uh, receptacles plug in and then over here you have your 30 amp plug in right there for uh, uh, hooking up to RV stuff like that okay coming on back now I uh, I've got the system is charged at hundred percent right now um, it's showing it usually average all the little fluctuations on the bottom right hand corner in the watts it's just the energy it takes to basically run itself with the display screen. It, it's ballpark, you know, like supposed to be about 13 watts is, uh, is what it calls for. Now, up top, this is our 400 watt uh, AC charger where you can actually charge the batteries through the wall if you want to. Um, you can plug that in and I believe it's, uh, I believe it's about four or five hours to get the batteries good and charged. Haven't done any time test on it, but... One thing I can tell you about this system is this is our 18 month review. We've had it for a year and a half. We have had absolutely zero problems with it. So as far as dependability, reliability, trustworthiness, and this product doing what it says it will do, 
it does. It gets absolutely five stars on that. We've had zero, zero issues with this system. And this being our first system and we were kind of leery and, you know, really trying to debate and to decide should we go into solar. But it just made absolute perfect sense with everything going on, you know, in the world. And uh, this is a completely off-grid system. We don't, I, don't, I do not have it tied into the grid whatsoever. That was an option, but we chose not to do that because we wanted where if the grid went down 100%, we have 100% off-grid capability and storage. Now, the great thing about the, uh, this system is this system is designed to work with uh, nearly every 24-volt uh, battery on the market. You know, I mean... Lead acid batteries, which I don't suggest, but it can do them. Um, I mean, basically any 24 volt battery on the market, uh, on the right side of this system, uh, it has hookups for everything that you can you can uh, you can run them. And um, so it's a extremely versatile system. What I'm gonna do is I'm, I'm getting ready to turn on our window unit AC. Um, this is a this is a higher 6,000 uh, BTU AC, and this solar system right here. We keep the temperature about 74 degrees, and pretty much on an average sunny day, this system right here will run our AC, you know, pretty much all day, 12 hours a day uh, with good sun. It'll run at 12 hours a day and still store up battery uh, storage for us to use it at night. We also have our TV plugged into it. We have our lamps. Uh, this thing is incredible. If you, I mean, this thing, it, it'll, you can plug your refrigerator, full size refrigerator with ice maker, water maker in it. This thing will be a lifesaver electrically when the grid goes down. It's, it's super, super important, uh, thing to have in everyone's family, I believe. And I think you guys are really love it. But let me show you this. I'm going to turn the AC on right now. You see the bottom right hand numbers, 15 watts, and it fluctuates. When I turn the AC on, you're going to watch what happens. I'm going to come down here. Okay, that switch is on. I'm going to turn the unit itself on. We got it 70 degrees. 70 degrees. Okay. And you're going to come up here. And you're going to start seeing immediately the number at the lower right hand corner went from 15 watts roughly to now it's 480 watts on average. This is what the, the wattage that this uh, setup is using right now for the air conditioner. 480 watts and uh you know it's uh you can see the uh 1809 is the estimated number of hours it would last in 16 and it fluctuates it depends you know when you get cold in here you can bump it up a few degrees it lasts a lot longer but the bottom line is that this thing this point zero energy titan solar system it has this processor has absolutely no problem running window unit acs to keep uh to keep you cool inside all day long uh, it can run the refrigerator. Um, it can run, uh, you know, pretty much all your lights, your television, you know, all that. So you're going to have a, an extremely solid backup uh, when, the, when the power goes off, you know. And, and our power doesn't go off too often. We just use this. This system has cut our light bill on average, I would say, by... I would say about 40% with the three batteries that we have. Keep in mind, we have three batteries, and we can pretty much add, you know, an incredible... I don't, I'm not sure if there's a limit on the battery stacking, but I know if there is, it's extremely high. Um, now, these uh, 72 amp... I'm sorry, 74 amp hour lithium ion batteries um, that come with the system, two of them came with this 2,000 watt system. We purchased a third one. If you each battery individually that you want to purchase for a 74 amp hour lithium ion battery is about $1,400. Okay, $1,400 to $1,500. Um, and everybody knows that you guys all know that the more battery storage you have, the longer and longer and longer you can sustain yourself uh, on cloudy and rainy days and all that. But overall, this system, I can't think of the first problem that we've had with this system and we've had it for about a year and a half so it gets five thumbs up all the way around um i'm going to try to leave some more information uh on the video and uh and on some links below that may help you guys with any questions you have also feel free anytime to drop any questions or comments that you have about this system like i said this was me and my wife's first time ever experiencing and uh dealing with solar system we installed it ourselves from the ground up everything the entire kit 
Now this kit right here is the Titan 2000 watt kit and it comes with 20 100 watt solar panels which I, you know y'all have already seen that and then we did the ground support ourselves because we live in a trailer and I don't want to put all that extra weight on the roof um, it's an older trailer with like a, a thin metal roof so we opted for a ground support which we love uh, we live in Florida and in Florida you want to do when you're doing a, a, a solar install you always want the you basically like for a ground support you want a 30 degree angle and you always want it facing south right that's going to maximize your solar energy all throughout the day but anyway guys uh, if you got any questions or concerns or updates on anything that you could uh, let us know about this system please feel free to drop them in the comments and we'll be back in touch with you shortly love you guys thanks so much for watching and y'all have a great day